Are you upset that your Galaxy S4 isn't running the official Google Play Edition software? If so, you're in luck. I'm Joe Levi for Pocket Now, and this is how to take your Verizon Edition Galaxy S4, turn it into a Google Play Edition. When Samsung announced there would be a Google Play Edition of the Galaxy S4 after the Google I.O. conference in May, many existing owners of Galaxy S4s were upset and rightly so, they purchased what they thought they'd been waiting for, one of the best smartphones ever created. Now it still is, don't get me wrong, but when it was revealed that there would be a pure Android version available soon, many were disappointed. And I'd be frustrated too. I've long been an advocate of stock Android. Fortunately, members of the development community have come to the rescue yet again. Here's all it takes to get your Verizon Galaxy S4 into a Google Play Edition. As with most routing procedures, there are some prerequisites. First and foremost, you need to assume the risk. Routing and flashing, when done wrong, can cause damage to your device. So before you proceed, make sure you understand and assume that risk. Next, you're going to need a few files. You'll need the official Samsung USB drivers. You'll need Odin version 3.07 or above. You'll need a couple kernels, the VRU AMD2 pre-release kernel, and the stock kernel, which we'll get to in just a minute, and you'll also need the Moto Chopper root exploit tool. Once you've got all those downloaded and extracted, the next thing you're going to do is unlock your root block. The stock ROM on this phone is root blocked, but there is a pre-release version of the kernel that has a hole in it that we can exploit to gain root. To do that, boot into Odin and flash the pre-release kernel in the PDA section. Once that's been done, we can root the phone. Connect your phone to your computer and run the run.bat file from where you extracted Moto Chopper. You'll see a message on your phone asking if you want to accept a new computer connection. You'll want to select Always and then OK. Moto Chopper will run and do what it needs to. And once that's been done, install the latest version of SuperSue from the Play Store, open it, and update the binaries. That part's really important. If you forget to do so, you will lose root on the next step. Next, we're gonna restore the stock kernel. Remember, this one is a pre-release that let us root. Now we wanna go back to where we were before. To do that, boot back into Odin mode on your phone, flash the stock kernel, again in the PDA section, and then boot back up into Android and make sure that everything is still working properly. Now you've laid the foundation and you can flash a custom recovery image and then flash a custom ROM. The easiest way I think to do that is to head over to the Play Store, download ROM Manager, the free one will do for what we're doing here, open the app, and then install the latest version of Clockwork Mod Recovery. After that's complete, now all we need to do is install the Google Play Edition ROM. To do that, you'll want to download that ROM to your phone. We'll have a link for that and all of the other files that you need to do this over at pocketnow.com. Again, open ROM Manager and back up your current ROM. That step is gonna take you about 10 minutes, but if you ever want to go back to the ROM that you had before, it's a necessary step. Once that backup is complete and you're back in Android again, go back to ROM Manager. This time you'll want to install ROM from SD card, navigate to the directory where you put that ROM, select it, and then follow the prompts. The ROM will be flashed and the necessary caches will be cleared, after which your phone is gonna reboot. That reboot's gonna take quite a bit of time. Be patient. But as soon as it boots up, you'll be experiencing Android the way Google intended it. That's gonna do it for now. If you liked what you saw, please give the video a big thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can stay up to date with what Pocket Now is up to. Make sure you follow us on all of your favorite social networking sites. If you wanna follow us, we're at Pocket Now. I'm at Joe Levi. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.